guys, you are back to us for our last topic. And this one is a bit frustrating. It's about Mahershala Ali, reportedly very frustrated with the uh, process of, you know, Blade not getting made, basically. Um, yeah, this comes to us via IG, and I'm going to read the article because this also touches on an, uh, a topic that we did earlier about Blade being shot in July 4th, remember? Mm, yeah. which, which actually didn't materialise. Mm. So, um, Blade star Mahershala Ali is, it comes off of IGN, I think I said that already, is reportedly very frustrated with the production on Marvel's upcoming vampire movie, with the script featuring just two lackluster action sequences. Jeff Schneider, an, a noted industry insider, recently tweeted that he'd been told the current Blade script is roughly 90 pages and features exactly two lackluster action sequences. Mahershala said to be very, is said to be very frustrated with the process. While script lengths naturally vary from film to film, a, usually rule, a usual rule of thumb is to expect each page to translate to a minute of movie. Should Snyder's um, information be correct, a 90-page script would make Blade very short for a Marvel movie. And if there is, and there, if there are only two action sequences, that wouldn't expand the runtime by much. Of course, runtime is no indication of quality, but if Ali is as frustrated as Schneider's sources claim, then things may not be looking great for Blade right now. In a second tweet, um, I won't go into that because that's not necessary. Uh, Schneider also added that Feige is said to be spread too thin. Feige, Kevin Feige is, of course, the Marvel Studio boss uh, who oversees all of the upcoming MCU projects. There are currently 14 Marvel films and 15 different Disney Plus TV shows in varying stages of development. And while Feige isn't the direct producer of every single one of these, that's still a huge amount to keep an eye on. Um, Snyder's tweets also come in the wake of Blade director Bassam Tariq leaving the project just over a month before the film was due to begin shooting. Marvel will now be searching for a replacement. Yes, that's enough. That's enough. Now, the reason why I said I just wanted to touch on this quickly before I take it to the guys is that we did a story a few months back where Blade was supposed to be shooting on July 4th. Mm. We didn't hear anything about that until all this stuff came out like, literally a week ago about the first director walking and now Mahershala Ali not being happy with the whole process, including the script. Mm -hmm. So, um, needless to say, this film's in trouble. Like, mm -hmm. big trouble. For a director to walk a month before the film is supposedly shot, that's, that, that's not that's He not doesn't good. believe in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, let me go to Damien first. Mm -hmm. What do you think about all this? First of all, I mean, for me... If you told me I've got to wait for a film to be shot and I'm the actor playing a superhero film, I'll happily wait. I'll sit back and go, you know what? I'm being paid. I'm about to become a big action star. I'll happily sit back. Mahershala Ali's 48 years old. He's a two-time Academy Award winner, 48-year-old, and only won the Oscar in two Oscars in the span of the last five, six years. Mm. He is hot as a fucking oven right now, mm -hmm. in terms of who wants to tap him up. Yep. And he's been cast for this for over three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't put a foot on set. Mm -hmm. I get why he's frustrated. Of course. All those other projects have got to turn down. Yep. All that and money, we, yeah. all that money he's turning down. But but, but he, Millions. But the thing is, he's not, for him, it's not even money. He's an actor that likes the process of Oh, yeah, characters. yeah, without a doubt. I'm just, I'm just mentioning, that's just a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you fact. know he's had diamond nights for him, though. Um, if they, if they, it depends what the contract is. Now I'm talking about loss of earnings. Like, it's it's probably. Because there, there would be a mm. begin time and an end time. Probably. Probably. So, yeah. probably. That's what I'm saying. For me, personally, like I would happily sit back and like, you know, yeah. I'll wait. Yeah. And I'll just be getting my martial arts sorted out. So I'm here to yeah, get in shit. Sure. Brock. That's we I'm all Brock. Brock. <laughs> but, no, but that's yeah, why we Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would all do it. But like in the position that he's in, I fully understand why he's frustrated. But that's why I I think... No, anyway, let me not yeah. talk. Let me let you finish. <laughs> um, the re I don't think, though, I'm just going to punch you to bring up. I don't yeah. think, though, that he's going to walk from it. Okay. The reason I don't think he's going to walk from it is he went to Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige didn't come to him. Yeah. He went to Feige and went, I want Blade. Uh -huh. And you have to have some brass balls to go, I want to take what Wesley did, mm. the whole audience he's got around the world. Mm. I want that. Yeah. Yeah. 
You don't go there and then wait and go, I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah. You know, and he strikes right. me as the kind of person that he sticks by his word and he's going to see it through. It's going to frustrate the hell out of him, but he's going to see it through. The 90, min the 90 pages of script doesn't make sense to me. The two lackluster action sequences, like, what the hell are you doing? Mm. You've got the blueprint. Is there in the first two films at least? Yeah, at least the first two. Like, we can forget yeah. the third one, yeah. but is there in the first two movies? Yeah. And and you have two lackluster fire sequences. Who was writing the script? Who, I don't. And you've had three years to get it right. You yeah. can't. The only thing is, and I know it's on Campy yesterday. The only thing I think they can't get right is how they're bringing Blade into the MCU. Yeah, that that's the only yeah. kind of caveat yeah. I think for them. But yeah. Apart from that, I don't understand why it's taking this one to get it right. You've got so much you can pull from. And you've got an Oscar winning actor sitting there. They put Daryl Lindo on. We found that recently. Yeah. They've got the other actor, the young kid that got brought on. Mm -hmm. You've got enough there to make something wicked. Mm -hmm. What the hell are you doing? Mm -hmm. So that's my issue. Yeah, right, yeah I'm done. Be on. Boy! <laughs> um, yeah, well, I think there's always a chance to walk. Because mm. if the script is shit, let's say you've waited your whole life to play this. You've mm. tapped up Kevin. Mm. I'll be like, Kevin... The script is dreadful. Mm. Mm. Like I'm gonna, I don't want to be a part of something that's gonna be bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like Kevin, if you can guarantee me that this is gonna be rewritten mm. and done to the standards that I know you are capable of, yeah. then I'm involved. Yeah. Mm. But if you don't want to be that guy, I don't want to be that guy that's laughed off the MCU mm -hmm. for them shitty, mm -hmm. you know, them one away yeah. uh, superhero films like. Eyes to see you. Like, it's, mm. you know, just like a parody. Yeah. You're trying yeah. to compete with Wesley. I want a script like Wesley and I want a better one. At least mm. the first two, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I want that. Yeah. Yeah. So give me that mm. or just take it all. Yeah. I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I'll do something else. Mm. Mm. Go for Black Panther. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wouldn't mind seeing him such a Yeah. I've never thought it. of him as that, but. Because, you know I what? Because mind. we got cast of Blade, it just automatically took him yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. But if that's he came right. out of Blade, I'd happily have him as Black Panther. More than happy. I think, I think More the world than happy. Would be, yeah, I think the world. <laughs> the world yeah, would be happy yeah, hundred percent. So, yeah, I, you know, if they don't fix up, they'll lose him. I agree with you. If if they don't I, fix because up, because I know where Damien's coming from. Yeah, right. He went to Kevin for this, like. I don't think Kevin Feige actually was thinking of having, and that's where I think the difficulty lies. Mm. I don't think they were thinking of having a Blade in the MCU. Oh, okay. That until cool. until yeah. he came to Kevin and said, "I want to be Blade," and mm. then he started thinking, "Okay, so how do I put, how do I put him in the, universe? the vampires in the in the mm. Marvel universe now?" Mm. So I think, that, like you said, that's the, that's a little bit of a difficulty. But with the people on staff, like I could figure that out, and I'm a Marvel head, I'm not a writer, mm. but. If I can figure it out, you guys can figure it out. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You've already got supernatural stuff in the MCU now. Would you get an email tomorrow? Larry, how can you write this script? Right? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you've got Do Doctor Strange and all that stuff is going mm -hmm. on. So yeah. it's not hard to figure out from there how to bring vampires in. What is you know what well, uh, thank you. There right. you go. Right. So, so it, uh, for me, I don't see what the problem is personally um, in terms of figuring out how to bring vampires in. Mm -hmm. I agree with Leon though that regardless of how passionate he is about this, he will walk if things are not done to his satisfaction. And the reason why I say that is for the very same reason that he wants to do the project. Mm. He came to Kevin Feige mm. because he he's seen what's gone on. He obviously hasn't has 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 an affinity with the character yeah. Blade and wants to do it justice because he knows what's gone before him in Wesley Snipes. He doesn't, as Leon said, he doesn't want to be laughed off the stage. A serious right. actor like him as well. Mm -hmm. That so if he, if he's probably after all of this debacle, he's probably said to Kevin, "Listen, if you don't come with a good script now, and there's no director in the next uh, however long he's given him, mm -hmm. I'm gone." I can see him actually giving that ultimatum. Because I can't, to be fair, I can't I wait actually. for you, he, and he can't. He can't because as as you both, especially Damien, has pointed out, he is one of the hottest actors in Hollywood right now. Mm -hmm. They at the put the time that he's taken out for this he must have had scripts thrown at him left right and centre do you know what I mean and he's an A-lister so he doesn't have to audition like this is stuff for him to be in and here's the money and that was that the thing before he got cast as Blade like there was Moonlight came out he got the Oscar for it then what's that one he got the Oscar for Moonlight and Green, Green Book, Book. Green yeah, Book. Yeah. they both come out in the terms of a year and a half mm -hmm. of each other and mm -hmm. then that, that other programme 
Yeah, um, True Detective. He did True Detective. True Detective. What was the other one where he was a clone of himself? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 the, the, the Apple TV one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. um, yeah. Damien Clyde. Yeah, <laughs> Whoops. Uh, no, I remember you saying uh, that. Um, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, look, it, they, they need to fix up. Like, I think the, the stories going around about Kevin Feige being... Spread thin. Spread, spread thin is very true. Of course, it is. Mm. It's very true. Not be? Mm. He's, he's taken on he's too one much. Man. And 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 I think he hasn't got anyone that's competent as his assistant or assistants. And let's to, let's not forget the creative control as well. Has been taken on a bit by Shaper. Not, not as no as not not for no not creative control. They've still got creative control. Mm. What Shaper has taken away from them is deciding what goes on Disney Plus and what goes. Cinematic. Oh, okay. That's what he's taking. Yeah. Creative control still goes with Feige. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. But Chapek's taken thank away. God for that. Yeah, thank yeah. God for that. But um, Chapek's taken away his decision on what goes on Disney Plus and what goes uh, uh, to cinema. That's now a bureaucrat. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bullshit. But <laughs> um, yeah, I, Kevin Feige needs to find competent people who can take on some of the some of the burden. When, when it comes because it because i mean his legacy is the mcu and 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 and, and it's, it's 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 just grown to the point now where he can't control it by himself it, it's just mm-hmm. it's not possible it's, mm-hmm. it's just not possible mm-hmm. and um, that's a testament to what he's done but as a consequence you know you need you need helping hands now you need strong helping hands so i hope that happens and um you know my my thing my my I think you know what they should do. Mm. Bring in Wesley back as bait. No, bring in Wesley to either direct or write. That's what I think. You mean, girl. Yeah. That'd be or interesting. or bring in Wesley to write mm. and bring back either Guillermo del Toro or Stephen Norrington from the first film. The, the Stephen Norrington di- directed the first film. Mm. Um, Guillermo del Toro directed the second film. Bring those. Bring I bring Guillermo back, back bring, without a shadow of a doubt. Bring one of them two back mm-hmm. as the director. Let let Wesley help with the script. Yeah, you know, even yeah. if he's not solely doing the script, that, fact, I think that solves the problem. What? Bring back Goya. Goya wrote the first two. Yeah, yeah but Goya, Goya, Goya's a good writer. I don't know if how much creative control he'd want though, because that's what ended up him no, no. directing I, the I, third no, one. I just say to him, "You're writing. That's it." He might not want to do that. Then go bye bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't care what you want. Yeah, right, I, don't, right. I, don't, I don't want him touching director, no, you know, directing you don't this film. get behind the camera. No, you, you're a fantastic writer, but no, that's about say, it. We saw you at the bar hall. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. You wrote yeah. two incredible ones and you directed, the directed third, trash. The, yeah, yeah, the third one is just absolute garbage. Yeah, I know it. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I, I mean. I like Norrington's version in the first one. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing him back mm. at all. Mm. Um, but yeah, Guillermo del Toro would be my favourite, mm. obviously. Um, but he, he, he might be a bit too dark for where they want Blade. To I want be. it dark. Mm. Obviously, obviously. Love it dark. Obviously. I still think they can do dark as well. But yeah, no, I agree with you. I, but I think, obviously, there can't be too much blood like the other two. No, but I think Strange opened the doors up for the last Strange. Yeah, Strange yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. 100%. So, I agree with that. So, anyway, guys, what do you think about all this? Do you think um, Ursula Ali is going to walk? Do you think that Marvel Studios will get their ducks in a row? Leave some comments down below and let us know what you think. If not, Larry for Blade. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, with that said, the show is over. So, guys, please, thank you for all your support. Listen, send in some super fans. Come on, man. Help help some, some brothers out the ghetto, you get me? And, um, yeah, we will see you in the next one. So, from us, ta-ta.